This week's Grandmaster Nightfall is The Corrupted, and I see a lot of comments on social media saying, Ugh, I hate The Corrupted, or why does it have to be this Nightfall for the sword? If you're wondering what the sword is, the Slammer was recently introduced to the game and is arguably the best utility sword in the game. The Slammer is a stasis vortex frame that can roll with Eager's Edge and Cold Steel or Demolitionist. But enough about the Slammer, this is a build video for my Warlocks and how to make this Nightfall just a bit easier. Mako's Buck here, and today we're going to talk about Cenotaph Welllock with a Slice Trace Rifle. Slice is a fairly new weapon perk and it is honestly top tier. After using your class ability, Slice applies Sever to any target hit within 8 seconds of activation and nerfs their outgoing damage by 40%. We will be using this perk on the Strand Trace Rifle from Trials called Incisor. What would I call the god roll incisor for this particular build? Well, let's take a look. This particular build is going to utilize a very niche roll that you're most likely only going to use on a Cenotaph Warlock, but it is actually amazing for this pairing. The barrel is preference. Things like extended barrel, small bore, arrowhead, etc. will all be fine. It's PvE. It's not going to be a make or break. Battery as well. You should probably shoot for enhanced battery, but since Cenotaph reloads your weapon anyway for you, you're never going to be manually doing it. So your battery also doesn't really matter. Slice in the third column is pretty much your only must have and attrition orbs in the fourth column. So as you're reducing a target's damage output with slice, you're also getting them to poop out extra orbs. Now my role is missing attrition orbs. I know I never really thought to keep a role that has slice attrition orbs on a trace rifle. Uh, but if you don't have this role, it's not a huge deal breaker. As long as you have slice, you're good to go. Now, if you don't have an incisor at all, you really just need any trace rifle and the build still works fine. This roll would just be best synergy. You can use things like Divinity, Apedence, the crafted stace rifle from this season, Aegir Scepter, Cold Heart, and so on. Zaoli's Bane Hand Cannon for the energy slot and unstoppable hand cannon, crafted with small bore, tac mag, explosive payload, and incandescent. Good old Galahorn is going to be your heavy. If you do not have this roll of Zaolis or don't have it crafted, you can swap Galley for Apex Predator Rocket Launcher and run Polaris Lance instead. Just make sure a different teammate runs Galley. Now let's set up that Warlock. The helmet slot is going to be our exotic, Cenotaph Helmet. Cenotaph steadily reloads a portion of your equipped Trace Rifles magazine from reserves. Damaging a vehicle, boss, or champion with a Trace Rifle marks them as a target. When an ally defeats the marked target, special ammo is generated for you and heavy ammo is generated for your allies. Which means you essentially get unlimited trace rifle ammo and your teammates get a bunch of heavy ammo. And while you're generating all this free ammo, you are also reducing the enemy's outgoing damage by a huge 40% with slice. And if you have on attrition orbs, they also make an orb. Easy. For your mods on Cenotaph, a siphon mod matching your energy weapon, Heavy Ammo Finder, and Heavy Ammo Scout, since you're making unlimited special for yourself. Special Ammo Scout does not work for your teammates, I know it's a bummer. For the Arms, Focusing Strike, Harmonic Dexterity, and Harmonic Reloader. For the Chest, Sniper Damage Resistance, since the Corrupted is more of a ranged GM, Harmonic Reserves, and Harmonic Resistance. Orange Bar Knight Solar Blast Hurt. Legs, Better Already, Recuperation, and Strand Scavenger. And lastly, the Bond, Reaper, Bomber, and Powerful Attraction. Artifact perks are especially important this season for solar builds. So for your artifact, be sure to be running Unstoppable Hand Cannon, Kindling Trigger, Flint Striker, Torch, Wished Into Being, Revitalizing Blast, Overload Rockets, Rays of Precision, and Argent Ordinance. For the subclass, we are obviously using Solar with Well of Radiance. Class ability will be Phoenix Dive since it has the shortest cooldown so you can make the most out of Slice on your Trace Rifle. Burst Glide and Celestial Fire for Melee are both preference and healing nade for an extra form of support or survivability. Aspects will be Touch of Flame and Icarus Dash. Fragments, Ember of Singeing to reduce class ability cooldown even more to further take advantage of that Slice perk. Ember of Solace to make Radiant and Restoration effects last longer. Ember of Wonder and Ember of Searing, which are more so for the plus 10 resilience and plus 10 recovery, but they do provide some benefits to the build as well. Your stat goals will be 100 resilience and 100 recovery with your next main focus in discipline. You're a warlock, so keep your mobility at 20 to 30, intellect at 50 plus, and strength is whatever. If you like this video, drop a heart, don't forget to subscribe, and turn those notifications on. See you next time.